Hey everyone! Today I want to go over a feature that was added to Unity in 2018.1 that no one seems to be talking about. It's called Presets, and while it's not the most exciting feature, it can be really useful. Basically, you can take any component or asset you've set up and copy its settings into a preset that you can then apply to other Unity objects of the same type. Using the built-in Preset Manager, you can also set up a preset as the default for a certain type of Unity object. I hadn't noticed, but there's this new icon in the upper right hand corner of every component and asset. If you click on it, it opens up the preset list which shows all the presets you've created for that type. If you click on a preset in the list, it will apply that preset settings to the selected object. The window also has a button to save the current component or asset settings to a new preset file. After you create a preset, you can still edit it just like whatever object it's based on. You can even create presets from your own custom components. If you have a handful of different ways you usually configure a component or asset, saving those configurations to preset files and then applying them when you create a new component or asset could save you a lot of time and help you keep your settings consistent. It's worth noting that unlike with prefabs, when you apply a preset to a component or asset, the system doesn't maintain a connection between the preset and the thing you applied it to. If you modify the preset later, the component or asset will not be affected. If you have one primary way you usually configure something, and you'd like to apply that configuration automatically without opening the preset window, you can create a preset and hook it up in the preset manager as the default. As an example, in Kingdom of Night, almost all our image files contain pixel art, so the Unity default settings aren't quite right for what we need. To remedy this, I can create a preset where the filter mode is set to point, the pixels per unit is set to 12, and I'll also turn off any texture compression. To make this preset the default for all new textures, I need to go to the preset manager and add a new default preset. I specify that I want to set the texture importer default, and I drag the preset I created into the slot. Now when I add a new image file to the project, it will start with the default settings I specified in the preset. You can do this for audio files and all sorts of other asset importers. You can also set up defaults for various built-in Unity components. There are a few more surprising ways you can use presets that are described in the Unity documentation. Check the links in the description for more info. If you found this video helpful, and maybe more importantly, if you think other people would find it helpful, consider giving it a like. It makes a big difference in YouTube's algorithm. Thanks for watching.